Block is an alternative to something like Riverpod or Provider or Set State to change what's going on on the Flutter screen. Using Block with the Flame game system for Flutter is a bit more confusing but potentially more fun and more rewarding. The first type of communication is a flutter to flutter widget. So in this case, we have a text button that updates the flutter text widget on the score of the game. This is the basic flutter block communication. Flutter block communication, we have a button here. This is a text button. And this is a Flutter text widget. And we can control the block and the score uh, with this button here. So when I press the button, this is incremented. And this is using the block. In our game file structure, we have lib and we have Flutter layer. Within the Flutter layer, I have a file called flutterlayer.dart. Within this file, there is a block consumer which has a builder which is passing the state down depending on when you're watching this video is this may be a block builder it's functionally the same at this stage so with the state we can now update the text on the score of the screen here so the text widget with state dot score is right there. There's also a text button and the way that we are sending the information to the block so it can get back to the flutter layer is we're using context. So the context is being passed down through the widget tree and we're connecting it to the, the block right here and the way it works is you add an event to the stream. So in the communication type, the first one, the event is added to the stream using the context as we just shown. In the second type of communication, there's a flame component that has to update a Flutter widget. So in the game here, we have the collision between the character and the piece of and the gem and that will update the flutter text widget in the second communication type i have a flame component which is the character it hits the gem when the gem the collision is detected the score is updated the score is a flutter widget the flame component updates the flutter widget because we are passing the, the game reference, which has the block in it, over down to the treasure flame component. When the flame game is set up, we're passing the game, the context from score block here. In the, the flame game, so this is the flame game, we're setting up a final variable for the block. So we're going to have this score block that is passed to the game. Using the has game ref of the flame game, we can access the properties of the pinky game which has the block okay when we have the block in game ref so it's passed over from flame game we have the score block we can now use this add keyword which is from the block system of dart and we can then add the vent in We've covered the first two types. Just to recap, the Flutter widget communicates with another Flutter widget 
using the context which you have access to. If you are sending a information from the flame component to the flutter widget, you don't have access to the context right there in the flame component. So use game ref. And with the game ref, you have access to the block because we we're, we're going to send the block over to the game. So with the game ref, if you just remember that, the game ref and then dot is the name of the block. In our case, it was score block. And then add is a keyword from the block system. Then you add the event to the stream. The third type of uh, communication is the Flutter widget to the flame component. So this case, we have a Flutter widget, which is a drawer. It's that sidebar. The access usually from the app bar. And we're using the drawer to change the flame component. In this case, it's a gem. This communication type is, this is a Flutter drawer. And then we hit one of these tiles and it changes the properties of the flame component. So it's communication from the Flutter widget over to the flame component. So the beginning of the communication process is the same as the first step, right? We have a Flutter widget and the Flutter widget has access to the context. So the Flutter widget, which is the drawer, can add the event to the stream pretty straightforward. In order for the flame component to listen to changes to the block, we're using this new class flame block listenable, which we are attaching to the gem. We call it treasure. And there is a new method called on new state. So for the third communication type, which is a flutter uh, widget to a flame component, we are using the flame block listenable within the sprite component or sprite animation component. And this flame block listenable will provide us with a method called on new state here. So this on new state, it's built into the uh, flame block listenable and it has a state so with this the state we can now check if the the state the gem type if it's a pink gem or green gem or a red gem just as a reminder you don't need to use block to use the flame game you can store all the variables in the flame game system and the flame game system has its own set of text components. We're using the flame block in order to experiment with different learning concepts to learn block. So you might just want to use block alone in your Flutter apps. It's unrelated to flame. However, it's a kind of a fun way to experiment more with different concepts for both Flutter and for block. So hope you're having a great time and we'll see you in the next video.